Good afternoon and welcome. Now today is a big day for the United States of America. A new president is going to be sworn in. And I think it's fair to say that this election for president has been like no other. Certainly that I can remember. There's been far more controversy, more publicity, and all of that, which I'm not going to get into now. But it is important to look forward to what the president is going to do in the next four years. And, as I've said before here, I believe that it is important to pray for those who are in government. Paul the Apostle wrote some words to a young pastor called Timothy back in the first century. I'm going to read from 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 and 2. I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. All those in authority. And so today, let's pray for Joe Biden and for all of those who will be in government in America, that they will govern in such a way as people can live their lives peacefully and quietly. Yes, we pray for peace in America and healing, because I think we all agree that is desperately needed, isn't it, in that country this time. But as well as that, we should pray for our own governments here. I've said that before many times too. That here in Wales and in Westminster, those in authority over us need our prayers. And what should we be praying for them? Well, I believe exactly the same as what we would pray for the government of America, that they would govern in such a way as we can live peaceful and quiet lives. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. We've had our own issues here, haven't we? Not in the same way that the US, but here there have been divisions over Brexit, over the way that the pandemic is being handled. And we may well look at these things and we may well disagree with what is being done by those in government to a greater or lesser extent. But the point is this, we are to pray for them. You see, when Paul wrote these words to Timothy, it was at the time of the Roman Empire. All sorts of atrocities were being committed at that time. People were being treated really badly. And those in authority wouldn't have had any interest at all in God or trusting him. And yet, there, Paul was urging prayers for them. And so today, if you are a person of faith, I invite you to pray for those in authority. Yes, let's pray for Joe Biden as he is sworn into office today. Let's pray for Boris Johnson and the government in Westminster. Let's pray for Mark Drakeford and the Senate in Cardiff Bay. And let me say again, 
even if you disagree with them, even if you think they are completely wrong, you can still pray for them. Pray for God's leading and guidance. They would govern in a right way for the good of everyone and so that we all may live peaceful and quiet lives. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that we have the privilege of praying for those who are in authority over us. And today, in particular, we do pray for the government of the United States. We pray for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and all others who will be in authority in various government positions. We do pray that they will govern in such a way that it will be for the good of the people and that there will be peace in that country. We do pray for a peaceful inauguration today and for the next few years they would have wisdom in guiding and leading the country and for our own situation here we pray for our government in Westminster for Boris Johnson and for all who are in Parliament for the Senate here in Wales Mark Drakeford and for all others who are in authority here as well but as they deal with issues concerning Brexit, issues concerning this pandemic, once again, they may govern with wisdom and that in a way that is right for the people of the country. And that we too may be able to live peaceful and quiet lives. So we thank you that we can come today to bring these our prayers to you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching. May the Lord bless you.